Hello little girls and boys Today I'm going to tell you a story Daniel and his friends It was noontime in the city of Jerusalem The temple school for boys had been dismissed Daniel and his three special friends were hurrying home to lunch when suddenly a trumpet sounded It was the noontime call to prayer Three times a day morning, noon, and night a priest came out of the temple porch and blew on a ram's horn trumpet It's time for prayers Daniel turned about face toward the temple. His friends turned about face toward the temple. All the people of Jerusalem stopped whatever they were doing and faced toward the temple. With heads bowed, they prayed to the God of heaven. At home, Daniel's mother served Paul's for lunch. Paul's is food like beans and vegetables, brown bread, berries, and dates. Daniel liked purse. Paul's would make him grow tall. Paul's would make him grow strong. Paul's would make him get good grades in school. Daniel, his three friends, and all the people of Jerusalem felt safe in their city. For hadn't the city a high stone wall around it? And were there not strong gates in the wall, with a watchtower above each gate, where watchmen kept watch day and night? If Daniel listened, he would hear the watchman call, First watch, all is well! And later, Second watch, all is well! And still later, third watch, all is well. But one day, all was not well. The watchman hurried out of the watchtower, blew a warning blast on his trumpet, and shouted, An enemy approaches! Quickly, the gates were shut and barred. Men mounted city walls, Boys climbed rooftops, far away, so far that soldiers and camels looked like a line of creeping, crawling bugs, came the dread army, the feared army of Babylon. Closer, 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 the army came. The army of Babylon pitched camp near Jerusalem. The soldiers built great battering ram machines and pushed them up beside the wall. All day long the battering rams beat and battered the wall of Jerusalem. Finally, after many days, a part of the high stone wall Gave way. The army of Babylon marched into Jerusalem. Some of the soldiers climbed the hill to the temple and took away the temple's golden vessels, as the king of Babylon had commanded them to do. Some soldiers stood guard, while other soldiers took men and boys prisoners. They took Daniel and his three friends. The army marched the prisoners toward Babylon. Soldiers on camels led the way. Then came the prisoners chained together. Next donkeys bearing the golden vessels, then more soldiers. For days and days, the procession marched across a hot, sandy desert. 
Daniel's sandals wore out. His friend's sandals were out. The hot sand burned their feet. They were thirsty. They were tired. But on and on, they had to march until they came to Babylon. The king of Babylon sat on his royal throne, while soldiers paraded the prisoners before him. Said the king to the captain of the army, Choose boys from among the prisoners, goodly boys. Give them food from my table to eat, and give them of my wine to drink. They shall go to school for three years to learn the wisdom of Babylon. Daniel and his three friends were chosen. Prince Nazar was given charge over all the boys. That evening, Daniel and his three friends talked together. We cannot eat the king's food, said Daniel. It has been offered to idols, and besides, the king's food is not the best food for boys. Neither can we drink the king's wine. What shall we do? The boys asked one another. Then Daniel thought of a plan. Let's ask Melzar to give us pulse to eat and water to drink instead of the king's food and wine. It's a good plan, agreed the three friends. Daniel and his friends went to see Prince Melzar. They bowed politely, then asked for pulse and water instead of the king's food and wine. Melzar shook his head. No. If the king should see you looking thinner than the other boys and learn that I had given you pulse and water, he might, he might even cut off my head. Please try us for ten days, begged Daniel. So Mazar agreed to give them pulse and water for ten days. Then we shall see, he said. Although Daniel and his friends were far from home, and there was no sound of a ram's horn trumpet to remind them, they did not forget to pray. Morning, noon, and night, Daniel opened his window toward the temple back in Jerusalem and prayed to the God of heaven. He asked God to bless the poles and water and to please let it make them strong so that Melzar might know that poles and water were better for boys than the king's food and wine. When the ten days had passed, Prince Melzar called all the boys before him. He looked at their faces. He felt their arms. He found that Daniel and his friends were fairer and fatter than the boys who ate the king's food and drank the king's wine. So ever after, during the three years of school, Prince Mazar gave Daniel and his friends pulls to eat and water to drink. One, two, three years went by. School was over for Daniel and his friends. They had grown taller. Had they grown wiser? The king himself would test them. Daniel and his friends dressed in clean clothes with hair combed and sandals polished, stood before the king of Babylon. The king asked them question after question. And lo, the king found Daniel and his three friends ten times wiser than all the wise men of Babylon. <laughs>